my last announcement and it should be respected and it should be taken deep into the heart every word spoken every word coming out from the mouth of the master elders parents is a gospel of truth and his pearls if you don't understand that that becomes the last because you are last the end is nearing because you are living in unconscious state and unconscious state is the start of the stinking of the body a dead body stinks dead men tell no tales today is the seventh story from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul rips announcement tanzin wrote 60 postal cards on the last day of his life and asked an attendant to mail them then he passed away the cards read i am departing from this world this is my last announcement tanzin july 7 1891 what a beautiful way to live this world <laughs> there's nothing more to tell yes and he just passed away wrote to his disciples 62 months one in and one yang the the month goes 30 days is in and another 30 days is yang so 30 plus 30 60 posts cast not more than that that 60 people is enough 60 yin and the yang if this 60 selected 60 there must be millions and millions of water flown under your feet when you step into the water so millions of disciples must have come and gone millions of disciples must have heard about tans <laughs> but why did he to choose only 60 cards but 60 cards represents the 30 days in a month the 30 and another 30 days that is yin and the yang this 60 people at least understand every drop that take see not to drop to be spilled out if the children were not taught when they become employees when they become leaders in a democratic system for councillors mayors panchayat presidents jilla parishad presidents mlas mps and so on and so forth they become unconscious on people's pain and suffering <laughs> yes their pain and suffering reflects your unconscious behavior hence tanzen wrote 60 he knew that 60 each one can roar like a thousand men warrior and he doesn't need to speak much one day during the sats <laughs> buddha said quietly without uttering a word one hour passed and one disciple got up and gave one flower buddha smiled and satsang so he understood that people have understood in that silence also what's the use of too many talks too many talks have already gone too many libraries now we have enough information crammed into our body my mobile was not working correctly it is a threatening me that i will hang myself while commit suicide they have a word it is hanged it hanged so here in our country if somebody said it hanged means it's committed suicide so i look but after hanging also after committing suicide also he can restart somebody says switch off and i switched off and restarted and it is again coming up again it is threatening me i'll hang i'll hang and hanged people have reached that stage when i reached when i understood it is hanged 
I was thinking of the unconscious people of Tyson. When he hanged, what he did is, I, I understood. People rush up when they, the mobile started hanging, rush up to the repair shop and what does the repairman does? He's a doctor. He just clean, cleans it. So I went to all my WhatsApp, I started cleaning all my photographs and all my uh, videos and all my uh, chats from the WhatsApp and from my email and all. And slowly, slowly his pipeline started getting better. He's, he's now telling, I will not hang, I will not. I'm asking, please hang, please hang for some day so that I'll be free from looking into the thing of non-stop messages. The cards read, I'm departing from this world. This is my last announcement. Every day is a department. Every day you die. If you don't die, you cannot come up alive. You must die in your borrowed knowledge. You must cleanse, cleanse your pipelines, your heart and the soul. You must clean hands. They say when the husband comes back from his office, his duty is to leave your slippers and your mind outside and enter. But they forgot in India, not only the slippers and the mind, they even put a beautiful vessel, make you put your both the feet in the vessel and then they thoroughly clean your feet with their antibiotic yellow powder, red powder, so the, all the diseases will go off <laughs> and not enough, they are still not possible. They give you a glass of water so that you can rinse it, rinse up your mouth and wash your face and eyes and wash your hands and still they are not happy to allow you inside. So they put an arati, a lamp which burns with oil, it has got the power to kill all the virus and they go one, two, three, several times and not only onto your face, they slowly bring the fire down into your stomach level so that if anything, <laughs> into your sex organ also and then down to your knees and to your leg and three times so from toe to heel, you are cleansed. And then they take that antibiotic powder and put the kumkum into your head and sprinkle that antibiotic water and that is called Tirtha, it is called the holy water. India knew all that tactic. The Westerners are just <laughs> And then only they love you inside. That was the last announcement that when you enter the house, you have left all the dirt. Before you go to sleep, you announce, I am going to sleep. Good night it means don't come back. All the teachers tell the children. And it was children's children's duty to make sure what the church said. One step leads to 10,000. Don't come back with a question again. You are finished with that. Your examination is over. That was the last announcement. The people have understood that when they grown up, the leaders will not rush up to build massive buildings and posh posh vehicles and send the children to foreign countries and dump a huge amount of money into the bank. The moment they get the money, they they suddenly become the cricket player Prasanna. I liked Prasanna. Prasanna sir still comes to meet me. The all round cricket player of India, Prasanna. He the moment he, he's all round moment he catches the ball, he just passes on. Oh sad yes that was a cricket player, which every leader understands. The moment he gets the money, he rushes up and passes to all his people and he gets the happiness. He knows he walks to any house, that whole house, even if the grass is, doesn't grow, it grows of its own. People will get smile, they will rush him and call him inside to give him food. Yeah, they'll send food every day. What they make, they send to him, what a beautiful world it could be. The children will never make food. They'll take the money, rush up to the foreign countries and from there also they'll piss you on. Yes. I am departing from this world. This is my last announcement. Please be conscious of every word. Because every one word is 
a million dollars. Like the tequis not a drop to be spilled. Not a drop of a word from your mother or father to be spilled because in India, especially your father and mother, every word is so precious because they are talking with full of passion, love and experienced wording. And if you miss that, you will never ever understand any teachers or masters. There is no need for you to go to any temples or masjid, to any psychologist, doctors. Nobody can cure your disease. Please try to understand that. The child should be made to understand that every word and repeat it. Like in Japan, I said, Miso onegeshimasu. And Ono chan came into so most of the shops will tell, no, 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 no. They they're chasing me out. Miso means I'm asking, please give me some water because I don't have much money to buy the juice. And in Japan to get in Tokyo to get water, you they think you are a bushman. <laughs> they ask for a bottle of beer or a soft drink, but nobody will ever give you water or ask. And I'm going and asking, Miso onegeshimas. So Ono chan came and told me it is not miso, it's miso, miso onishimas. Miso, I should drag it. If you say miso, it is a different word. Miso. And she repeats it after me. Miso, miso, miso. And till I get it, please make the children repeat it up. And you have created beauty for you to have the last announcement. This is my last. Time.